And I'm Dad. And so today we are at Town Green Park. Yep, we're in the Woodlands, Texas, so we're about 30 miles north of downtown Houston. So hope you enjoy. We're going to go explore Town Green Park. Let's go. Okay guys, so we are in the little gate for Town Green Park. And we have like a little picnic grassy area that they'll do like conventions and festivals sometimes here. Um, but if you can see, there are some people having a picnic. And then if we, if you're standing where I am and you look right, we have this storybook maze, which is where we will be going next. So let's head over there. Right here. So we're going to go ahead and go enter the maze. pieces of a storybook behind us, so let's go read and walk. I don't know, Ray. I think I'm going to get lost in this maze. No, I'm what? very good at directions, so just follow me. All right, we're following you, Ray. And it is kind of like a maze. It is a little smaller, but it is kind of like a maze. There are like dead ends that you can go to, but then, but you can also stay on the main path. All right, so we have our Both of them will have like morals, like there's the one right here. So yeah, it's coming. So let's move on. Let's go see what other storybooks we can find. So as we walk through here, I'm going to keep me and Ray. Hey. Oh, which way do we go? Uh oh. We're at an impasse. Okay, let's see. Ray went that way. I'm going to try to go a different way. Here we go. Dad, what happens if I go this way? way? What happens if I go this way? What happens? Oh, no! Dead end. Okay. I have to go turn around this way. Going back the other direction. And working our way through. Okay, so let's come over here, Dad. Oh, I'm coming around. So there's another story. So this one is called The Cat, The Rooster, and The Mouse. And so, and it has a moral like the other ones, and it is, not everything is as it looks. So do you think this is something that would be fun for kids who are younger to walk through with their parents and have them read the stories to them, Ray? Yes, it, well, it's fun for all ages. For adults, you can, um, you can just go on a nice, uh, relaxing walk. And for kids, you can read the stories, and, the, and for parents and kids, for the parents, your kids get to learn a moral. Excellent. Yes. How about that artwork? Yeah. Pretty cool artwork, right? Yeah. The cool. artwork around these books is very good. So let's go right. Let's Here, where are we going? We're going that way. Going there we go. This next book, and then we're going to come back that Whoa. way. Whoa. This is a dead end to get to this book. Okay. Okay, so this one is called The Miller, His Son, and the Donkey. And so the moral for this one, it has more like all the other ones, and it is, if you try to please everyone, you will please no one. And check out the artwork on these. I, yeah. I do love the artwork. Yeah. And if you guys do want to come back and check out right. this place, you can read all the books. We are not going to be reading all of the books this time because that is going to be taking up too much time, and we don't want to keep you on here for that long. So let's move on to the next book. Hold on, wait, I'm gonna go this way and dead end. He's purposely going those ways. <laughs> okay, so this one is called The Mermaid and the Woodcutter. And for this one, the moral is honesty is the best policy. I really like that. That's a good moral. All right, should we keep on rolling? Yeah, like I said earlier, you guys can, if you guys want to, you guys can come down here and actually read the stories. And, I'll, and that would be fun, but for time-wise, we're just going to go through and show you guys around and hopefully, um, like, inspire you guys to come here. Because it's a really fun, nice place. Okay, so we have our next book, The Tortoise and the Ducks. And so for this moral, 
envy and vanity often lead to misfortune. Excellent. And once again, I just love the artwork. What do you yeah, think about the artwork? It's very good. It's really and like cool. For the little kids, it'll be fun to look at the art if they can't read. And so it's fun. It's a fun place for everyone. And like my dad said earlier, it's fun for kids when it's full grown to just, or even now, to just run around the maze and go around. So why don't you lead us out of the maze, Ray? Okay, so we have the end right here. Where are we, Ray? Is this the, is this the end or the beginning? Yeah. <gasps> it's a dun, maze. Dun, dun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that was the story book. It might be a little hard to hear me. We just walked by a waterfall. Okay, so I'm going to go down and come back. Come down here. to a closer view of the swan paddlebird. So we're gonna come around and so you guys can actually see them up close. Um, so yeah, we're almost there. And they're really pretty. And All right, let's take a look at these swans. Oh, actually, we're gonna get really close to them, huh? Yeah. All right, we'll wait for the big reveal. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, if you look across the lake, you can see the Woodlands Pavilion, which is a popular place that has festivals, um, concerts, and yeah, we've gone to a lot of yeah. concerts there, right? Yeah, you we saw your went first to Imagine Dragons. There. Yeah, we saw your first big concert was Imagine Dragons yeah, there, right? First, like, I've been to the Symphony, the Houston Symphony plays there like all the time, and I go to that a lot. So along the Woodlands Waterway, they have Cynthia Woods Pavilion, and you can see the top of it there. So they get a lot of really good shows. So I recommend if you're into music and concerts, um, it's a great place to check out their website and see what they have going on. And then what Ray is so excited to show all of you, dun, 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 dun. Swan paddle boats. These look like so much fun. And they're locked. And that's number one. This is number one. This is King Swan. I think that might be number seven. Oh, sorry, number seven. Apparently, I need to learn how to count or read numbers. Yeah, number one's down there. Oh, okay. That's number seven. <laughs> that was lucky number seven, Swan. So these are kind of cool. Number eight, number ten, and then number one's right Do there. Do you think we should come back and try this sometime? Possibly. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, wait, 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 hold on. Before, before I get too far, here, we got to get this on camera real quick. Hmm. Will you help Daddy pedal? No. Yeah, that's why I thought. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Trolley alert. Ding, no. ding, 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 oh, ding, ding. Trolley alert. Trolley alert. Crack, crack, crack. So they have trolleys that run through here. And they also they have crack. water taxis that run along the waterway as well. So you can come up here and take a trolley ride. Something fun to do. And I don't know how much they cost. Um, yeah, two trolleys are passing one another. Um, I know the waterway taxi does cost money. Um, coming up here and just hanging out where we're hanging out is totally free though, and then just, just yeah, enjoying the sights. Yeah, around and doing what we're doing is free, and it's just a fun little thing to do around Houston. Here's number two and number three. Oh, and it looks like Dr. they can actually see four, two. and how oh. like, two people pedaling. Yeah, and, and it sees four. And two people hanging out in the back. I know where I'm going to be back. Uh, so you're going to pedal, and I'm going to no. take a nap in the back. No, you're pedaling. No, I, 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 th I think you're pedaling, and I'm. No, I'm, I'm not. Do you and mom are pedaling? Is that what you said? No, no, no. I'll pedal. pedal. You'll pedal. Thank you, mom. So you mom will pedal. You can pedal, and I'm going to sit <laughs> in the back and chill. <laughs> yeah, and we you can... can rent kayaks here. Yeah, so they have a series of things, it looks like, and they don't have the kayaks out today. They have these little paddle, oh, another one of these little fun. single paddle bike oh. things for the water. Hydro but bike. they have inside of here, yeah, they actually have uh, kayaks and things you can rent, and you can actually row row out you can you can actually row out on the lake and out onto uh, the waterway so there's actually Lake Woodlands is out that direction so you can do that and so there it says Riva there you go Riva rowboat house so kayak rental standard one hour so I can zoom in on that it's about $15 standard tandem for first hour is 20 
and then there's a pedal kayak for 25 and you can do team kayak for 30 that paddle, paddle board rentals um, so you can call this place this is once again this is the Riva Robo house so you can look this up if you have any questions here is where a uh, map here's where we're at right now and here's that little waterway we were looking down and it goes into Lake Woodlands and you can paddle around uh, if we go the other direction you'll see the little roundabout where we just saw those swans and then this ends up coming out here is the, the Woodlands waterway cool so let's go ahead and keep looking around well, look at that sunset off the buildings over there that is pretty cool it's very pretty you see a fish How many total waterfalls are there, Ray? Three! Three total waterfalls. Okay guys, so we just finished walking on the waterfall pass and we're gonna go up here. Ray, there's strange circles in the pine needles. What? Are they aliens? No, I bet it's think? just bored kids. <laughs> no, probably just some bored kids. <laughs> I like the answer, bored kids. Okay. So those kids right now are very bored because of this pandemic. This is true. So bored, we will push pine. <laughs> <laughs> and behind that, they have the different seals. from the different branches of the military. And a memorial showing soldiers throughout the different conflicts and wars. It's a really cool park. Excellent. Look at this, look how pretty that is. There's still some flowers out even though it's pretty hot. Cool, all right, let's go ahead and keep walking. So they have all these little side paths. You can walk around the little sitting areas. It really is a pretty little park area. It's a pan through all the grass, big grass area. So we've been here for fireworks. They do fireworks here actually for Memorial Day and for 4th of July. And, um, new all right, that's Town Green Park. We're on our way out to one of these little, I guess, architectural flourishments. It's kind of cool, these big windows. Oh, I hear a trolley. Let's see if we can see the trolley. Oh, here comes the trolley. Hold on, we're gonna look at the trolley through the window. There's the trolley. So they do have a Woodlands trolley. Let's see if I can get a view of it. That runs around the Woodlands up here. So if you come up and visit, you can park your car and ride that around and check out the sights here in the Woodlands. Going to be raiding Town Green Park, and so it was a fun little walk, but it was kind of short. And if you're just gonna do that, um, it's kind of uneventful, but it was still fun while it lasted. So I think I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Yeah, I, I think I agree with the, what Ray's saying here, and that is that. Um, it was really neat to visit and walk around the maze. Um, right now the maze isn't really filled in very well. It was fun going to see the swan boats and see where we could go kayaking. So maybe if we did that, it would have been a little bit more exciting if we are going there to do just those things. Mm -hmm. uh, but based on the trip we had, I'd give it a three out of five as well. So that gives an overall score of a six out of 10. It's not horrible, so it would be fun if you just wanted a short little trip. And if you had like some extra time in the day and you just want a short little trip and you're in Houston and you don't know what to do, I mean, it would be a fun little thing to do for a few minutes. What do you think about the swan boats? Do you think if we went on the swan boats or did the kayaking on the river, it would be a little bit, or in the waterway, would be a little bit more fun? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. All right. Well, but thank you for joining us. Please like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell for notifications and make sure to enjoy.